Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about video quality, audio quality, and also how you can make sure that you can see all your students on your screen as you are holding your Google Meets. So let's jump into it. Now, as you can see here, I have a Google meeting ready and I've invited six student demo accounts. Now I can see all their screens at the moment, but that could be different when you reach higher numbers. Say you have a class of 15 students, maybe you've got 25, maybe it goes higher. Well, there is a way for you to make sure that you can see everyone on your screen and that's using the built-in layouts. Now, in order to get access to that, we're going to go to the bottom. So here, when we click on those three dots, we have a number of different layouts. So when you click on change layouts, we're going to see those options. At the moment it is set to auto, but the one that you probably want to use most of the time when you have a large class is the tiled view. So let's go ahead and click tiled. Now in order for this to work really well, you have to make sure that older grid view extensions are no longer installed on your Chrome browser. This is now integrated within Google Meet and therefore it works best when there are no interfering extensions. Now when you've clicked on tiled, there is one more thing you'll have to do and that is at the bottom of that menu, there is an additional slider. So here you can see it is currently set to 16. However, if my class has 25 children, I will only see 16 students on my screen. In order for me to see more, I have to slide this all the way to the right. At the moment, it goes up to 49 screens. So let's go ahead and set it to 49 and then simply exit this. Now, because we only have six students, we only see six, but as more join, it will automatically adjust. Now this does take up a little bit of bandwidth because there's a lot of video coming in and you yourself are sending out a video feed as well. Now, how can you make sure that this still works on a slower internet connection? Well, that is by looking at the video quality and the audio quality. Where do we find that? Again, in our settings. We're going to go to those three dots, click on settings, and then here you see your audio and video settings. Now, the first thing you're going to do is navigate to the video tab. And the reason for that is because in addition to selecting your own camera feed, you can choose a resolution. Now this is both the outgoing resolution and the resolution that is coming into your computer. So in other words, how much information, how clear is your video feed that is being sent to your students and how much is coming in from your students. So here you can see the send resolution is set to auto and the receive is auto. Now because I know I'm going to be doing a lot of other things using my internet, or maybe you're at home and you know that you have a son, a daughter, maybe there are other people all using the same internet connection, I'm going to try and limit this. So I'm going to choose under the send resolution, I'm going to choose to send 720p. That is the high definition resolution because I want them to really clearly see the screen. So let's go ahead and select that. That's the outgoing. And now we're going to select the video feed that comes in. Now, because I'm going to use a grid view, I don't need a high quality video feed from my students. So I'm going to choose the receive resolution and I'm going to choose standard definition. That is 360p. So a lot less of my internet is going to be used to get that video to come into my computer. Now you also have two additional options. So let's say that you're on a very slow internet connection. Well, there is the option to have standard definition and only one video at a time. Also possible is to use audio only. This way you are really saving on that bandwidth. You're not using a lot of resources from the internet, but you're still very clearly hearing your students' voices. Now changing this will really impact how smooth one of your meetings will go. If you're sharing tabs or sharing videos, change this to the receiving resolution and then set it to audio only. Share your video, you will have a lot more resources available to send that video to your students and then change it back to receiving resolution of 360p or maybe 720. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. My name is Seti and this was another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.